while I was flipping through a magazine a few days ago, I came across this retro inspired look which I absolutely loved, which is why today I'm going to show you guys how to create this gorgeous little bob which you can trick all of your friends with, as well as a little peek into some 70s fashion which is huge for spring this year. So I hope you guys like it. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can tell, I'm not in my bedroom right now and I'm not in my backyard right now. I am actually in Santa Monica right now and I'm on the pier which there's like little colorful buildings in the background that I thought went really well with this video theme. Um, and there's parrots over there that are speaking to me. But today's video is going to be about how to fake a bob because I have really long hair and sometimes like I've always had the dream to just see what I would look like with short, short hair like a bob like this. So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to get the perfect bob like this one. And I think it's very retro. It's very different. I think it is something that maybe takes a lot of guts and confidence to pull off. But honestly, I think all of you guys can do it. And I'm sure you guys would all look gorgeous with it if you don't already have a bob. Um, there's also a little mini style segment in this video. So hopefully that'll help you if you don't need to use this hairstyle. But I would love to see you guys if you try this out. Post a picture on my Facebook page because I want to see it. And you can wear some cool sunglasses like this too. So yeah, I'm getting really weird looks right now, but that's okay. Okay, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, so you want to start off with your natural hair. My natural hair is not straight, but it was just straightened before this video. So I'm going to take a brush and just evenly brush my hair out just to get any tangles or knots out of my hair. If you're going for a more messy look, then I wouldn't recommend brushing it. Now you want to take any one of your favorite chunky headbands, you want to make sure it's about one to two inches thick, and put that over your head, untuck the hair in the headband, and go ahead and bring that up onto your head, covering up most of your hairline. Now take a teasing comb and go ahead and tease all of the hair at the crown around the headband, just to add a lot more volume to the hair, to give it more of a retro look. And then you just want to brush out the pieces so that there's no pokiness or messiness, IDK. Just brush it out a little bit. <laughs> Gather all of your hair to the back of your head and go ahead and secure it into a very loose ponytail. You want to make sure that you place the band a little bit lower than you normally would because you want it to be very, very loose. Now what you want to do is take your ponytail and tuck it under the headband into your hair. So making sure that there's no ends of your hair that are sticking out. You just want to tuck it all under your headband and you have a little bob. Now you can just go ahead and play around with the pieces to make it a little bit more messy and not as structured. So there we go. Now you have a bob to trick all of your friends at school with and I'm just going to take out a few more pieces because I like to have mine a little bit more messy and you can also curl them if you would like. And if you want to give this look a little bit more of a retro spin, just take some of your coolest sunglasses and put those on as well. And I was trying to see if you guys could see through my sunglasses because I'm a dork like that. And here are another pair of my favorite sunglasses which I purchased at Forever 21 for about $8 so that is definitely a great steal. Now that you know how to rock a fake bob, I want to talk to you guys about 70s inspired fashion. It's huge with celebrities, models, and magazines so I'm going to show you guys my take on the look and it's also very inexpensive. These things happen. So I would describe my outfit a little bit more on the crazy side, but remember that there's tons of different ways to rock the 70s trend this year. I'm wearing this very small kind of crop top tank top from H&M, which was about $15 and I love that it. it's floral, it's just very kind of vintage and 70s looking. And my jeans are flare jeans from H&M. Flare jeans are also known as bottom belt jeans and they are very, very popular right now as well. And if you wear them with small crop tops like this one, you're going to look a lot taller, but shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, and one of the best shoes to wear with flare jeans are definitely wedges. Not only do they look cute, but they're going to be a lot safer than heels because you have a less better chance of tripping on them with your heels, you know. So I love these. These are also from H&M, and I just think that they're very perfect for this outfit. 
And now if you want to make this even more retro and a little bit more old fashioned, just take a very bright, fun lipstick and apply this evenly on your lips. It's a little bit crazy, but honestly I think it's just so unique and very, very pretty. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it was a little bit different and kind of crazy and out of the box, but I really want to let you guys know that you should definitely try stuff like this. Even though it is a little bit more daring, it definitely is a big sign of confidence. And I hope you guys try it out and post a picture on my Facebook page if you do. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. really cool easy bob it's so simple i've seen so many tutorials on bobs and this is the easiest way so i hope you guys liked it and let me know what you think below and if you try it out like i said post a picture on my facebook page and i will talk to you guys later because i think a bird is gonna poop on my head right now okay bye guys ah.